Hello everybody, this is All Souls Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play CrossCode A New Home. And for those of you that are confused as to why CrossCode is suddenly appearing on Monday, well, as I probably mentioned in the finale of Yakuza 0, uh, what's going to be happening is, uh, now that Yakuza 0 is over, CrossCode A New Home is going to be taking over the Monday-Wednesday slot, uh, XCOM is going to be returning to the Tuesday-Thursday slot, and Friday is going to remain the same as it has been for quite some time. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm actually kinda glad to be returning to doing, like, shorter episodes. I mean, yes, it's still half hour long, but compared to Yakuza 0, that was an hour long, and when recording sessions could go for a couple hours, like they did with the Cabaret Club Czar, ugh, boy... Uh, but that's not important right now. What is important is that in the previous episode, we continued our exploration of the Azure Archipelago. As we tried to find a way to get up to a pathway that leads, uh, from what it seems, all the way around the area in order to unlock some shortcuts or whatnot, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think thought that maybe this area is where we could find a start point, and it is a distinct possibility. But in order to get to that, we need to get through a rather large fight here. Now, before I forget, I'm also thinking that, uh, when it comes to the Meister Gloves, I might want to change them out. Uh, let's see, damage on enemies that are stunned, Royal Guard, Repost. Royal Guard and Repost are great. When you're up against, you know, singular enemy, you can block and counter them, but... With my style, when I'm up against normal enemies, it doesn't seem all that great. Also, let me not forget to change back into the Hydra Fang, which I'm probably gonna be keeping. Because, uh... Oops. Because, uh... I do like the... To SP regen? No, HP regen. And Assault is alright. That's not what's important. It's the HP regen that I really like. Guys, uh, anybody who's watched my... watched the original series knows how much I do enjoy my HP regen. Anyways, let's see if we can't take all these guys down again. Let's see... I mean, I try to... I try to dodge. But, uh, so many enemies on screen, and, well... I can only do so much. Not one who I intended to hit with that, but okay. But yeah, I might want to consider changing up to uh, a different thing from the Meister Gloves. Oh, stupid starfish, you got in my way. Gotcha. And as I learned the hard way a long time ago, it's better to use projectile attacks when dealing with, uh... We're trying to break enemies. Alright, need to let myself cool down a bit. Okay, 
Okay, need to heal up. Actually get him? I, I did. I remember when that neutral dash attack I had was the best. Turtles. We haven't actually done much fighting against them. If I recall correctly, I think our best bet is to let them attack and then dodge out of the way. Yep. That's the last of them. Your journey brought you to this land enclosed by the deep sea. Traveling over shallow water, jumping from island to island. Fighting your way through hostile nature, your accomplishments shall be acknowledged. Take this shade to open the door towards your final destination. Ancient shade obtained. Resourcefulness is apparent and deserves one final reward. I shall add to your strength and prepare you for your last task. SP bar extended. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Seeker, you just acquired the Ancient Shade. It's the last prerequisite to access the final part of the track. Temple of Kulero. Uh, yeah. However, be aware the integration of this new location has yet to be finalized. Nevertheless, the preparation should be completed soon. AKA, the final dungeon still isn't ready yet. Once the temple is integrated, it can be accessed in the northern part of Sapphire Ridge. Seeker, make sure you are well prepared. This temple will truly pose the ultimate challenge of the track. All your accomplishments, you shall receive one more reward as well. Circuit override times three. Seeker, once preparations are completed, I'll be expecting you at the entrance of the Kulero Temple. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. So circuit override times three. Huh. I'll admit I haven't really taken a look at the circuits. Alright, we got the shade. Glad the dungeon isn't available yet. Let's hope they'll add it soon. Spheromancer Leah! How does he keep getting to these spots? I see you've just collected the final shade! Our task in this new area has been completed. And you know what that means. It's time for our final duel! Where? Right, as for the location, I suggest the northwest of Rhombus Square. As it happens, that part of the city has dedicated arenas for PvP battles. Excellent! I'll be waiting for you. Be prepared. Leah. Okay, well, we got access to this upper area, but it doesn't look like we can really jump around it. Well, actually, no. Do see this. Oh, I didn't notice it before. But that's just me. No way to get up. Not that I can see. Report 01 unlocked. Where would it be? Encyclopedia? 
Cross worlds, general. Oh, here we are. The area's pretty messed up. Lots of debris. Research vessel wasn't kidding. Signal identified. Gonna spend the next week trying to locate source. Huh. So that one. You know what? Let's take a look at this stuff. Circuit override times three. What exactly does that mean? Can't get enough to get the most powerful attack of the ice circuit. What's this one? Guard arts. Oh, that's why I never touched this one. Uh, let's see, what do we got on this one? This is... Dash arts. Well, I got enough to get this. And it'll increase my attack. Well, that's something. Eight CP here. What can I get? Wisp. You know what? Let's get the throw arts. If only to get things like balance. Radiant Swarm. Throw a shock ball that will bounce off an enemy and create a sphere that emits multiple homing projectiles. Or chain blitz. Fire a projectile that creates a chain along up to four enemies, which will get hit by a lightning bolt. No, let's switch o swip over to that. That that swap. Switch over to that. Yeah, and it's more fitting with my melee style, anyways. And that's as far as I can get there. The only here, it's hammer time. Throw a ball that uh, chains multiple enemies together and evaporates them with a massive lightning bolt. Not bad. Speaking of which, it said my bar is extended. Not by too much, but still. And can't get through there. But I can jump down from up top, it seems. I see a golden chest. It means... Well, I tried jumping around, or maybe I can even jump onto the palm tree. Well, worth a try. And I probably... Well, actually, no. I would have had to do the fight to get to that side. Dang it. One of the few times I've ever over-jumped. But it is what it is. Okay, then we jump up onto here... Ah, and then onto this palm tree, around to here. It gets us the golden chest, which gets us Baby of the East. Probably another pet. Yep, destined to be the guardian of something great. Oh, it's a little monkey! Now, let's see. Go any further? Jump onto those spots? No, doesn't look like it. Nope. Hmm. Maybe there's something further up top? Because I could have sworn this is the area I'd go to uh, in order to get the... or get onto the pathway, but I could be wrong. Yeah, because I'm not really seeing any way from get from there to there. Way to get there. Unless there's something I missed on this side, but I doesn't seem like it. I, no, it doesn't look like that would lead anywhere. I don't think so. Huh. Well, only thing to it is to just go around looking. Yeah, I don't think we could have made the jump into those areas anyways. 
Oh, wait, I think I see something. Go around this way. This leads us to Dover's Cliff, but that takes us back to the beginning. Aha! Okay, we would have had to go around the long way anyways, because we wouldn't have been able to activate this. Okay, so I think we found a beginning point for that large-ass pathway. The long pathway. I wonder, have they fixed it up so that the traders... Wastelands, half our ridge, nope, nope, nope. Here, our rhombus square. Uh, no, they don't show the ascended traders. No getting to it from there. Not that I can see. Probably get to it from there. Let's see what's up this way. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, not from there. this way. Get boosted up that way. What's this area? Ooh. Silver chest. Get three razor tips, and these enemies do not attack us. Weird. I was expecting them to. And I think that just takes us back here. To be certain, let's head up along this way, and... Yep, that takes us back to Sandy Bar, so this is where we start and make our way back and hopefully find some good treasure along the way to make up for all of this. Okay, so there's this that launches us up this way to here for some treasure. Arm band times three. Think they can see us? Shh. Yeah, we can see you. Alright, that launches us back onto the main course. By the way, uh, I've been doing some looking online. Apparently, one of the resources you need for Ascended Gear is only found in the final dungeon from what I have read. Now, it could be that they might be wrong and that there's another area to get it, but I don't know. Okay, got that. Watch over to wave. And let's keep... That's one of those long jump puzzles, isn't it? Oh, wait, we just jumped across to here. We, it's going to be long. Oh, don't I know it. As, uh, I had to take the time to jump, or to find the beginning of it. Oh, that is a relief. I was starting to get stressed out about the thought of falling down. Yeah, tell me about it, Trani. Case in point as to why. 
better be something good at the end of all this. I mean, I'm not exactly... Naturally shaped stone bridge. No, of course it doesn't make sense. Looks nice, though. You know what I just realized this music reminds me of? It reminds me of, uh... A Wii Sports. Or Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, I don't know why, it just really reminds me of that. Ooh, there's treasure down there. Temptation to jump! Ah, oh, of course you had to hit another switch first. Of course. Now, now it actually makes me feel pretty good that we got the, uh... Other switch. Uh, how do I get back? Just jump across here? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Makes me feel good that I went out of that way on that one pathway in order to get to the, uh, uh, the, the launcher. I know that's probably not the official name, but that's the one I'm going for. Jumping along this way for quite a while now, haven't we? Not be tempted by the resources. See more later. Checkpoint still not over. Now I gotta figure out how to get around and hit that one. Port number two unlocked. The crew found signal of source. Can't make this up. Looks like a black hole. No readings on the instruments. Had to confirm via camera. It's tiny, like maybe one kilometer in all directions. No gravitational force detected. Just warps the light around it. Scientist freaking out big time. Told crew to prep drone. Highly suspect. Some cloaking tech lost in the old war? Say... Oh, right, now I remember. I saw it last time. Gotta jump around this way. At this point, I almost miss walking on water. Assuming this way. This way. It just won't stop. I wasn't gonna let that thing escape. Another checkpoint. But we're still not there yet? Or is that it? Still not there yet. Nope. That wasn't the way I was supposed to go. But I got a silver chest. With two durians. Never actually had durian. I've heard it smells horrible, but apparently it tastes delicious. I genuinely have no idea. I think we're supposed to jump down onto this canopy. And then what? No, seriously, then what? I genuinely have no idea.
Hmm. It is at this point that I became horribly lost and completely uh, out of ideas on where to go. Oh, wait. There we go. It's still not over. You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, there we are. I was wondering if I was gonna have to. We, I really feel like smashing a few things now. Let's see, is this the point where I have to jump across the coral? Ah, darn it. Alright, that's fine, that's fine, we got the checkpoint. Apparently, jumping across the coral is not what I need to do. Where was that checkpoint? Okay, back to where we were. Oh, I see it. We really went full circle, almost. Another checkpoint? We just went all the way back to where we started. Jump up here, then. And then where do we go? No, seriously, where? I swear it... I be able to make it to this palm tree? Yeah. Okay. Cross here. Treasure can't possibly be worth the trouble to get here. Chunky. Uh, something tells me that wasn't worth it. Please do not feed it any. It's a fat cat. I don't even get an achievement for that. No trophy. Nothing. I mean, well played. Well played. Oh, boy. Well, anyways, I think... I think that is a good place to end this episode off here for today. So, if you guys like what you see... Please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.